Hi, good um, good evening on this quite mild, um, quite mild evening tonight. So as discussed this morning um, on my post, thought I'd just take a moment to have a little chat about a different approach to VCE stress. On a recent in a recent conversation I had with someone who's right in the midst of doing their VCE, I asked them what they thought their best advice would be and they said keep up to date don't let yourself fall behind and then if you get sick you get a hiccup something happens you're you're okay it won't take you that long to catch up but then I said well what about if you feel right at the moment that you're behind that things are starting to catch up with you and I thought their advice was quite good because it was basically stop and take a reality check I said you know ah are they really behind or are they just feeling like they're behind? So pretty good advice from someone in year 12. How do we put that in the context of how you can help your young person who might be going through this? So number one is to look at their emotions and help them acknowledge what they're feeling. As a parent, it's really, um, we want to go in and reassure them that everything is okay. doesn't really matter. There's lots of other options if things don't work out. Remind them of how well they've done previously. And we want to make them feel better. However, we know as psychologists and mental health professionals that the best thing you can do in this situation is to allow a person to fully experience their emotion and own their emotion. So we want them to be able to say, you know what, I'm feeling really anxious at the moment. I'm feeling like an elephant is sitting on my chest. I notice I keep thinking about how stressed I am and what's going to happen to me. Um, so we want to create that space where they can say that. And you don't have to do anything when they say that. You can just sit there and go, okay, so you're feeling really stressed. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm here for you. You know, what's going on? What are you thinking? How, how are you going with all of this? So we don't have to leap in and try and rescue them. Just provide the space where they can let us know how they're feeling and they can experience for themselves the depth of that feeling and that's okay no matter how bad it is. Obviously if you're a parent and you find that feeling too much for you to handle, please get some help for you um, and your or your child. So the first one is naming their emotion and describing how that's feeling for them. Second one is a, is a bit of that um, perception reality check. So it's, what's this emotion stopping them from doing? Are they feeling that overwhelmed they don't know where to start and they can't focus so therefore they're wandering around the house and procrastinating? Or are they feeling so overwhelmed that they're not connecting with their friends, they're not making time to have a break to go out and socialise? Um, or is the emotion, is the, oh yeah, we've already done that one. Are they really behind? So, so is it distorting their perception of reality? So some of these ways, and particularly if they're avoiding their friends or they're avoiding exercise because they don't feel they have enough time to do everything and they don't get out of the house or their room, they can get into a bit of a vicious cycle. So they're stopping doing things that are actually going to help increase their mood. So this is where you can help as a parent. So, you know, encourage them to go out. Encourage them to do things they'd normally do. Encourage them to look at the bigger picture of things and, and do a bit of reality checking. So we have emotions. We have what is their, uh, how are their emotions impacting on their actions and helping them with that. And the third one, which is tied in with that, is acting. So if they are feeling they're behind, ask them to check in with their teachers. And if they can't or won't, you can check in with their teachers. Are they really behind? And you know what? Sometimes they are. And that's okay because then they can stop there and do some problem solving. The other bit of advice I got from um, the year 12 I was speaking to was if they are really behind, maybe they can let something go. Maybe there's a sack coming up that really isn't worth that much and they'd be better off focusing on something else. 
I do recommend you do that in conjunction with, with the teachers, but you know, it's always better to face reality. And if we look at it clearly and our reality isn't distorted and we're behind and not coping, well, we can make a plan for that. So there are three things. So that's really what I'm going to, to leave you with tonight. So the first one is just be there for your child, help them express and notice what they're feeling. Don't, try and rescue them just just be there secondly is look at how these emotions are impacting on what it's stopping them from doing and the third thing is to act so whether that be speaking with the teachers whether it be helping them get organized and structure their homework chunking it in perhaps if they're so overwhelmed they might want to chunk it in 20 minute um, blocks or half hour blocks and whether that be through your help, peer help or at school. So there's always something we can do um, but you know, try not to rush in and go oh there's plenty of other options. Let's deal with their emotions how they are now and once again if you need a bit of extra help we're here. Don't hesitate. So, um, so this is Kim Dunn from Positive Young Minds. If you believe like I do that it takes a village to raise a child please share this with your friends if you're watching this um, you'd like to make a comment or a question please do so and together we can work on growing wonderful adults okay bye for now